हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक ऑन दिस माय चैनल गाइस आई एम रामकेश सिंह यूनिटी गेम डेवलपर यूट्यूबर एंड ब्लॉगर एंटली वी आर डूइंग द सीरीज ऑफ यूनिटी एड्रेसेबल सो वी हैव डन थ्री पार्ट एपिसोड वन वाज इंट्रो एंड रिमोट सेटअप सेकंड पार्ट वाज यूनिटी सीन लोड फ्रॉम रिमोटली एंड थर्ड वाज टू शो प्रोग्रेस वार दैट हाउ मच वी हैव डाउनलोडेड एड्रेसेबल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न is that we are going to check that our addressable is in cache like once we have downloaded our one scene from remote so it will be in cache so at that time we need a proper code that we can check that our addressable is in locally or it is in remote on the basis of that we can show our progress bar like if it is downloading so it will show the progress bar if it is not downloading it will not show the progress bar on the basis of that you can perform your action if you are new on the channel make sure subscribe the channel like the video comment and share with your friend your like inspire me to do much more tutorial on it and it will really help me to reach much more people like you in last part we were showing the this progress bar and in today video what we have to do we have to check that our addressable is in cache or not and i have explained this thing also everything is a very important thing like here is the release thing here is the load thing so everything is a very important thing learn very carefully so that you can utilize addressable and addressable is a very important topic in unit you are working on any application 2d or 3d just what we need we need a i numerator cache so here what we need need asset reference here is the asset reference why we need asset reference because we are loading a scene as a asset reference so what we have to do and then write some code i have tried so much code but that was not working because there are so many code available so we can use for checking the cache it was not working so what i i play the trick first we have to access download size okay so basically it is a trick how we can access the download size so we can take v and you can call it down on how we will get the download site so we will get the using the addressable and then we will use one method download size second one sync so what we have to do as that asset which asset that asset reference so we have got the where download size it's uh, will take time to get the size so not that much time on the basis of that what we have to do is just we have to wait if we are waiting so what we have to use return what we are going to return we are going to return download size in the bottom we have to perform our main task so let's suppose we are taking one boolean and uh, in one boolean to do to check the download size what is the download size download size is a operation and we are taking this operation like get download a thing in this so basically download size is operation so what we are checking that operation and this is the one process you can call it operation checking the result and if result is 0 equal to 0 so what will it will return it will return true otherwise it will return false here we have to perform condition so if it is true so at that time we have to print and same we have to perform in else part what is the else part it's uh, just copy it. it is not in cache use this method the coroutine and here we are in the asset reference so that is the asset checking we are checking the download size how we can check the download size so first we are taking the where and this is the download size why we are using the where because it can take any data type we are taking the download size and how we can check so we are using the addressable dot get download size async and this asset it's checking that how much download size we have here we are returning and it is a process so it is waiting and after that here we are checking that download size dot result if result is 0 0 means already we have the data so we don't need to download so at that time we are saying that if it is true means we have zero data so it means we have asset in cache otherwise it is not in the cache so we are we have to call this method so here we are in the update we are showing our percentage value so what we have to do that it is in cache or not so what we we are going to do just we have to use star coroutine and then here we have to pass our created coroutine so how we can pass our created coroutine so basically this is the value so just use this one here we have to pass one parameter so what will be the parameter parameter will be scene you are going to load so here is the scene name this th scene name you are going to use this scene name you have to pass so here you can pass but you don't have any access of this scene so what you can do is just you can take one variable friends cache scene so what will do of this scene is just here we are taking and this is the public uh, this is not public this is the global variable so here you can pass so basically you are passing here so what will happen that here you will check and on the basis of that you can perform this task currently i am not putting any condition so currently i am going to just check and if 
our asset is in cache so we have to not show our slider so here is our slider asset is in cache so we have to not show our uh, slider so that time you can say set active so you can do false okay but if it is not in cache so at that time what you have to do you have to on your slider value i want to mention one thing you are using coroutine and here we are calling and this is in update method so you have to call coroutine properly i'm not going to explain it basically what you have to do is just you have to take one variable coroutine c and then you have to pass this coroutine and every time whenever you are calling so at that time you have to check that it is uh, started already or not so, so if it is started so you have to not call again but if it is not started so at that time you have to call again G result now so it should be result set in cache why because we have already downloaded okay so you can see asset is, is in cache already in cache so at that time it is not showing the our headers means it was showing the slider but when we check so after that it is not showing the slider okay so at that time you have to check basically what we have done is we have already on our slider so it's at that time it's showing but uh, the condition should be the same so what you can do is, is just off basically you have to perform with this but i'm not going to do this slider is not able to see why because we have write the code that if it is in cache so we have to not show this we are going to clear our cache of scene so what will happen is just it will download so one two three so here you can say it is downloading okay so properly it is working as it is in cache so why it's showing because we have write in the update method it, it calls nine times but in starting we'll see we are able to download our asset and it's showing that asset is not cache so you can see it is called 368 times so you have to put the condition that it doesn't call every time you have to just call once uh, once so that you can check okay so this is the code you can uh, read again and if there is any doubt so you can ask but i'm providing a simple flow and on the basis of that you have to perform your condition but this is the code to check the addressable is in cache or not thanks for watching have a good day see you in next video